same old story to begin with. Victim young, good looking, wanted to get on television. Had everything it takes for a great career. Someplace along the line, got mixed up with the wrong guy. You know, wound up dead. Who is that? It's a monkey. This man is just a murder guy, so he shows some respect. Whoa, someone's dead. Thanks, Mr. Matha. She's my best friend, you moron. Are we, are we even sure she's dead? Have you not seen the bundle over her back? It's kind of a giveaway. That really doesn't seem really fair. That's because he wanted this to happen. What are you on about? Don't act so clueless. I saw you two last week. Care to explain why everything ended so ugly? I, I lent her 20 quid, and then she hadn't given it back yet, so I confronted her. You expect us to believe that? I'm just saying what happened. Did she say once you're off the money for it? No. Samantha told me a couple of weeks ago it was something about gambling. I told her not to, but we would just end up arguing. I'm not even sure at the end if it was about gambling. Oh, of course it's gambling. I'm not surprised to go caught in a gambling addiction ever since the incident. She has been trying to get as much money as possible. What incident? Well, last year we were both up for the same job, but I got it. She asked me to step out, but I needed the money. I'm confused how this links to Samantha's death. Well, I thought she had gotten over it, but a month ago she came to me and showed me something. She said that she wouldn't spread it if I gave her money. She, last night she threatened me, telling me that she saw something. Well, what does she want that you didn't want revealed? He's not going to say it, is he? Well, why would he when it was clear that Samantha used it as leverage for money? You could almost say it upset him so much they decided to get rid of her, so his secret was safe. What are you on about, Mr. I left her money for her gambling addiction? You started all this. Look, I just, I know I didn't kill her. That's exactly what the murderer would say. Shut up, Max. Well, I know what I saw, and I'm sharing. You're not sharing anything, Donny. Why not, Lily? Unless, unless you'd like to do it for me, as I think you know as well. Well, if it's coming out anyway, I guess I might as well say it. Me and Kevin, we were having an affair. <gasps> you having an affair? Look, Lily was upset, and I comforted her. You die dog! Shut, Shut up, Max. Max! Well, I think I know who the murderer is. Do any of you? I'm ready. Sure, I can accuse someone. Well, it's not for definite, but I think I have someone in mind. Oh, I know who it is. Phones there were no phones then. Can I get up now? No, you're meant to be dead. You have blood on you for God's sake. You cannot talk. It's ruined already. There's no point in doing it again. Yes, there is. I didn't even get to say a bloody word. And I'm not going to have this game ruined by that moron. It's a goddamn game, Ben. Chill out. All right, all right. We can start again from your entrance, and then you'll get to say something. And no one will interrupt it with modern technology, will they? Ugh, I give up. Right, I'm going to leave the room and come back in again. And Max, this time, don't say anything. Who? Me? Hello. Are you interested in attending a murder mystery weekend experience? It is Sherlock-esque. It's called A Game of Death and it involves a grisly murder, and you will be one of the suspects. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll check my diary and drink it right back. <laughs>